I was planning on taking the day off today. I was like, you know what? I've been working so hard. I wanna make sure that I take time to rest. And I opened my YouTube app because who doesn't like to watch a YouTube video while they eat their lunch? And all of a sudden, what to my wandering eyes appears, but a new song from Lana Del Rey. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll wait for the album. That thought process lasted about five minutes before I was like, no. Today, I'm going to be checking out the song that Lana Del Rey just dropped earlier today. It is called The Grants. It is actually the first track on the album, so that makes me really curious. I'm always wondering how the artist is gonna start off the album, especially knowing Tunnel and a and How are we going to enter this album? Because those songs, while they have similarities, feel very different to one another in a lot of ways. So I am interested to see how she's going to completely set the tone for the album. I also know that Grant is her last name, the last name of like her family. So I'm wondering if it's going to be another family-centric track, kind of like a and has a lot of references to her childhood, to her mom, all of Lana's music in general. Um, she focuses on her family a lot. You know, Chucky's making birthday cake and other lines like that that are like little vignettes into her life with her family. And I think that's really personal, it's interesting. I love Lana Del Rey. Guys, I've been having a whole moment where I'm like, her music is just so timeless for me. A little update, I do love A&W now. It's funny because I didn't go back to it right away after filming my reaction, but I went back a few days later and I immediately loved it on second listen. I think I was just able to connect everything in my head. I definitely still prefer Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard just because it's my new comfort song. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's five minutes of peace. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is actually a short track for her, okay? It's like four minutes, so that's kind of nice of her to give me, give me just a minute. <laughs> I don't know why I literally have to take a deep breath every time I listen to one of these because I just know I'm in for a ride. No pun intended. One, two, ready. I'm gonna take mine with you with me. Mine, mine of you with me, thank you. Okay, obviously I'm like, who is that? Because that is not Lana. Um, so I am going to look up really quick because it's gonna bug me if I do not look it up. Who is this? The gospel singers. Okay, so it's multiple gospel singers. Okay, I'm restarting it. Mine with you with me. Ah, mine. <laughs> Say it again. I'm gonna take mine of you with me. You don't need me to tell you this, but these vocals are stunning. I'm calling it now. I feel like this is gonna be one of her best albums. I know that's a lot to say because you never really know what you're getting into from just the singles alone, but I'm already getting vibes. Like I'm just getting like my sixth sense that tells me that this might be one of her best albums. Like Rocky Mountain High, the way John Denver sings. I could hear one gospel singer in one ear and the other gospel singer in the other ear. And that was just so beautiful, so atmospheric. I did not see that coming for anything. Those vocals were just such a gorgeous way to start off the album. Okay, okay, okay. And then, I, okay. I'm obsessed with that piano. Mind of you with me. It goes really low. I'm gonna take really high. I adore that piano part. So you say there's a chance for us. Mm. Your family. Family. But. But. Do you think about heaven? My pastor told me. When he is she doing strings again? Because again, going back to Tunnel and how that is my comfort song, and I think a lot of it goes back to the strings, and this is giving me that same sense of calm. But ironically, I feel like the lyrics. You know, her lyrics are always a bit dark. She said something about how you're a family man, but, 
and I feel like it's gonna go into some darkness. But yeah, let's go back. Cause I feel like with Lana's music, I have to go back a lot. And that's just something that's gonna be happening. Do you think about heaven? What does that mean? <laughs> when you leave all you take Is your memory And I'm gonna take Mine of you with me Okay. I'm looking up the lyrics. I'm not gonna be able to tell you what they mean, but I am looking them up. You're a family man, but do you think about heaven? Do you think about me? My pastor told me when you leave, all you take is your memories. Okay, um, yeah. I have discussed how Lana's lyrics tend to go over my head because they're so deep at times and they're not what you expect them to be. Crypto forever screams your stupid boyfriend. Fuck you, Kevin. <laughs> One of the best lyrics. When you leave all you take. That melody really reminds me of, I think it's Black Bathing Suit. And in the end, I think I want a boyfriend, someone to eat ice cream with. My best at I did not think I would be Googling this much during this video, but I'm dumb for saying that. Okay, it doesn't sample it or anything, so I think I'm just... <laughs> Someone commented, play this at my funeral. Wait, who's Patricia? Do you think about me? It's just so calming. Is your memory? I'm gonna take At first I was confused by the line, I'm gonna take mine of you with me, but she's going back to the memory line saying, I'm going to take my memories of you with me, like when I die. Okay, that's interesting. I do wonder if it's about a relationship that she lost that she's looking back on. She's thinking, I wish that I could have it be the same as it once was, but all I have are the memories. So either potentially, I think she either lost someone, like they died, or someone did her wrong in some way. And it's a family member, it sounds like. So yeah, I really don't know. To be honest with you, I do not know that much about Lana's personal life and her life story, just because I have not been following her as consistently over the years. You can fill me in if you want to, you know, that'd be nice. I, I don't know what's going on but you always get the personal lyrics with her. No other artist could have written this song. So many mountains to high to climb Ooh, the strings. I'm doing my time Doing my time I'm doing it for Norman Rockwell, one of the best albums ever written. <laughs> I think about it when you're singing. Okay, the way that this song is now building is getting to me because it's just, it's been very one note the entire time and I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean it's it's not been building, but right now I'm hearing that build and I'm hearing it move up to this crescendo that will probably be coming right around the corner. So, okay. I'm doing it for Yeah, I went back again. It's just, ooh. Like Rocky Mountain High, high. My sister's firstborn child. I'm gonna take that too with me. My grandmother's last smile. Remember that too for me. I have been listening to this song. It is a five minute song and I have been filming for 24 minutes. This is what Lana does to me. Lyrically, this is sounding like it goes along with did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard. This whole concept of not wanting to forget, of wanting to take the memories with her. Cause a lot of people online were saying that tunnel is about not wanting to be forgotten. And obviously this song saying, you know, I'm gonna take my memories of you with me. My sister's firstborn child, I'm gonna take that too with me. My grandmother's last smile, I'm gonna take that too with me. It's a beautiful life, remember that too for me. I don't know why she's writing like this. Uh, like, is she okay? I don't know, but it's so beautifully 
personally Lana to me. This song is so Lana to me. Something that I've been reflecting on a lot lately is just how consistent Lana is with like her entire brand, her entire discography. Not only is it such good music consistently, but she's so consistent with the sound and the concept and her lyrics and I don't mean that it all sounds the same, but I just mean that it is all so similar in this thread that carries. This one is just feeling kind of like tunnel. It's just feeling like Lana at her Lana-ist, and it's really, it's really beautiful. Ah, and that big choir sound is really pretty. Ah, Yeah. The thing about Lana's songs is they're all pretty long. Sometimes with longer songs, you know, I struggle and I'm like, okay, does it need to be that long? With Lana's music, I feel like every second is necessary. You know, thinking back to A&W being a seven minute song, but I don't skip any part of it. I think it's all, it's all necessary. It all needs to be in there. So that's just something I've been also reflecting on recently. I thought that was beautiful. I thought it was a really, interesting way to open the album because it is going back to kind of this theme of the tunnel song the tunnel song um it is going back to did you know that there's a tunnel under ocean boulevard and just kind of this idea that maybe she wants to be remembered or she wants to remember her life so that's kind of just an interesting concept and maybe i'm missing something again her lyrics always go over my head so this is just my initial thoughts the sound it was very peaceful for a majority of the time and then it just built at the end to this bigger moment that was also gorgeous and i really loved the choir and that starting the album i think really stands out as being something you know a little bit different like it, it it's not what you're expecting and i think that's cool lyrics for days lyrics that I haven't even begun to unpack and possibly connections to Tunnel. For Lana's music, I feel like it all connects into like this interweb of lyrical parallels and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I, I mean, wow, she's so consistent. Lana is at her most Lana in these, in these singles so far for me. I think they're all really strong. I'm really excited for this album. Really curious to see because I have a feeling that this could be one of her best albums. But yeah, I mean, it, it will be hard to beat Norman Rockwell, but I feel like she could, she might do it. So yes. Let me know what you guys are thinking. You know, what do you think of this song? I would be interested to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you did make it to this point, feel free to like and subscribe if that's something you're interested in. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.